Good afternoon, everyone. So, um, I because I had a couple of questions about how to calculate uh, the lift to drag ratio from a drag polar, I just wanted to um, clarify a couple of things here with a couple of different methods. So, um, here's our drag polar, our lift coefficient on the x axis versus the drag coefficient on the y axis. So, that's the way I'm used to seeing this. Um, and our drag polar has the general form um, CD is some quadratic function of CL, right? So I've just written this in uh, general form ACL squared plus BCL plus C constant. And I'm going to show how you can find the drag polar by two different methods. The first one being a derivative method. Um, so basically finding the minima of a function and then setting that equal to zero and solving. And then I'm also claiming here that if you draw a tangent to the curve, the drag polar curve through the origin, the point at which that tangent line first touches the drag polar from below uh, is the point corresponding to maximum lift to drag ratio. So I've denoted that point there, uh, CL star CD star. And I'm making the claim that the maximum lift to drag ratio is given by CL star divided by CD star. So let's start with the derivative method then first. Um, obviously, the minima of a function can be found when the derivative of the function is equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, CD, which is given by this general form up here. Uh, divided by CL and then basically minimize that function. So D by DCL of that function set equal to zero will give me the minima. So um, the key thing here is, is that minimizing this function is the same as maximizing its reciprocal. So CL over CD max, which because CL and CD are both non-dimensionalized with respect to Q and S, dynamic pressure and wing reference area, then that just simply gives L over D max. So um, here we are uh, taking the derivative of CD over CL. So basically I've taken the general form of the CD equation from up here, the quadratic in CL, divided it by CL. So to get CD over CL, which is just ACL plus B, because that will cancel with that, and C over CL. And the derivative of that with respect to CL is just A. This constant term disappears, and then uh, we get C over CL squared, which is minus. Um, so we set that equal to zero, and then solve for CL, basically. And that gives us this value for CL. So what we're saying is, when CL equals the square root of C over A, then that gives this point right here. So the conditions associated with the maximum lift to drag ratio. So um, we can plug that back into the CD equation, right? So plugging in this value of CL into this general form up here, we get this value of CD. So basically at this coordinate, CL equals this and CD equals this, that denotes the point corresponding to L over D max because we've shown that minimizing this function is the same as maximizing this function. So that's one method, but why is that equivalent to doing the tangent line method? Well, let's have a look at that method as well. So. Um, I'm denoting the point where the tangent line through the origin touches the curve as CL star CD star, right? So that's this, CL star CD star, that's this point. So the equation of a tangent line is given by F of A plus F dash of A multiplied by X minus A, where A is the X coordinate through which the tangent line passes. So that's 
uh, the equation of a tangent line, which can be found in any decent calculus textbook. The one I'm using here is uh, Calculus, a Complete Course by Adams. Uh, that's the sixth edition from about oh, 15 years ago when I took calculus as part of my math degree in the UK. Um, so that's the reference that I have, but you can find that in any uh, decent calculus textbook. So let's rewrite this equation of the tangent line in terms of our notation. So our function is the drag polar in general form, right? ACL squared plus BCL plus C, so quadratic in CL. And so the derivative of that F dash, we found that earlier um, when doing the uh, derivative method. And obviously A in our case, so we said A is the point, the x coordinate through which the tangent line passes. A in our case is going to be denoted CL, uh, CL star, right? <clears throat> That's the x coordinate through which the tangent line passes. So therefore, our tangent line for our uh, equation here is uh, CD, so um, CD, Y, right, corresponding to this is equal to f of a, so basically this equation applied at cl star, so a cl star plus b cl, uh, a cl star squared plus b cl star plus c, plus then the derivative of the function applied at cl star, so if this is the derivative of the function, this is 2a cl star plus b, multiplied by this difference here x minus a, x in our case is cl, a is cl star. So if we multiply out this, uh, these two brackets here, we get this line, and we can see that this term in particular will cancel with this term, which comes from multiplying this with this. And also we have two terms involving a cl star squared. So we can combine those two and we get this. So that's the equation of the tangent line, but we know something else about our particular tangent line in this case. We know that it passes through the origin. So if the tangent line passes through the origin, the equation of the tangent line must satisfy CD equals zero when CL equals zero, right? if it passes through the origin. So if we plug in CD equals zero and CL equals zero into this equation, we're left with this, right? Because that term goes to zero, that term goes to zero because of this, and that term goes to zero. So we're left with just this and this. So then if we rearrange that equation for CL star, look what we get. We get the square root of C over A, which was the same as what we got over here using the derivative method. So therefore, my claim that uh, the point on the, the drag polar corresponding to the best lift to drag ratio is the point where the tangent line first touches the drag polar from below um, is uh, verified. So after all of that, um, because our CL star value came out as the same as CL value using the derivative method, I'm, I'm therefore concluding that the point where the tangent to the curve first touches um, the drag polar from below through the origin gives the point corresponding to L over D max. So there we go. Hopefully that clears up a few things. And um, yeah, have a good night.